When the water is expanding, you need somewhere for it to go. High pressure causes leaks. Nobody wants a leak. And then it would infect everybody's house. So they had to stop that. Hi, I'm Brandon Burrill, owner and operator of Quick Water Heater and Filtration Company. In this short video, I'm gonna explain why you need an expansion tank. So if you look up here, that little thing that looks like a secondary water heater is not actually a water heater. What it is, is a place for the extra pressure that's generated from the water heater to go into. So if you look right here, there's a, a, a seam. And what that means is there's a bladder inside, a rubber bladder, and there's air on top and water on the bottom. So when you get a new water heater and we turn it on, the water's cold, it heats up. It's 40 gallons, turns into about 41 gallons. So it doesn't have anywhere to go. So what it does is it just increases the pressure and it increases the pressure all the way from your pressure regulator to the last fixture in your house. So everything at the same time increases in pressure, which is not good. It puts extra stress on all the fittings and causes leaks, pinhole leaks. I'm sure you are familiar with what a leak is like. So what this is designed to do is instead of putting that extra pressure on the plumbing system, because remember all of these pipes, this pipe all over here is also connected to this pipe over here, which is then connected to the faucet and all of this. So it's one long chain. So in order to maintain a pressure, uh, equal pressure balance through the house, when the water is expanding, you need somewhere for it to go. So it goes into the tank and it'll, from the bladder like neutral position, the water will fill up and go into the air and balance itself out. So instead of expanding in the pipes and putting pressure on everything, it goes into the expansion tank. So that basically keeps your pressure steady. High pressure causes leaks, nobody wants a leak. It's also related to this. So a lot of places have a backflow preventer or a pressure regulator. Sometimes the pressure regulator will stop the pressure from going out and it isolates the house so the water can't go back into the city. So back in the day, we didn't have backflow preventers or regulators. So when the water expanded, it was fine. It would just go out your driveway back into the city line and it would kind of balance itself out in the city. The problem was it was creating, if someone had say, bacteria in their water heater and the water was making its way out into the city line down the street and then it would infect everybody's house. So they had to stop that. So that's why people are asking you to put on an expansion tank. So I hope that was helpful and follow us in the next video for more tips on water heater products. Thank you.